Hi, my name is Guy Wallace, and in this packed video short, we're going to discuss the event maps, the lesson maps, and the instructional activity specifications of the MCD processes of the PAC Processes for Training and Development. PACT is an acronym. It stands for Performance Based, Accelerated, Customer and Stakeholder Driven, Training and Development of Any Blend. At the top level of a course or workshop or seminar, any mode or media that's used to deploy content, formal content, somewhat informal content, but not informal content, unguided. The PAC processes at the MCD level produces the event map. It contains all of the information in terms of the flow of lessons or units or modules, whatever you would like to call this, it simply organizes the flow of instruction. The lesson maps organize all of the performance data and the enabling knowledge and skill data from the analysis efforts, the prior phase, to the design phase, into information and or demonstration and or application. Not every lesson includes applications or demonstrations, but minimally would typically cover information. However, depending on how the design was constructed, some lessons could simply be a demonstration, or a demonstration in applications, or simply an application. The intent of the design methodology is to provide ultimate flexibility to design as needed in order to support performance requirements and the development of that performance competence in those requirements of all of the learners. The lesson map identifies all of the instructional activities. Again, this is the final resting home for all of the analysis data at the lowest level of design of the PAC processes. A typical event map, therefore, contains multiple lessons and multiples of those in terms of instructional activities. This is the equivalent of different layers of the blueprints that an architect would use in designing a building or a house. From the artistic rendering view to the framing view to a room-by-room -room view or however you would like to organize your thoughts around architecture of instruction, the engineering of instructional products. I've been practicing, publishing, and presenting on these methods since 1982. My recent book, Six Pack, covers all of this in great detail.